Hello, beta testers. My name is Kyle, and I know it's important to show, not tell. I'm forced to assume that the unloved defenders shilling this unfinished, underpolished, and quite frankly dated Saints Row reboot suffer from some manner of brain damage. This already had an uphill battle with the woke exclusion of what made it actually appealing to most people, but apparently, highlighting noteworthy issues that this $60 game struggles with sees me categorized as a hater by people who paradoxically celebrate the removal of body variety and inclusivity that a decade-old entry managed. Honk honk, am I right? I regard desolate streets, textures and shadows not loading, broken takedowns, clipping through walls, falling through the map, exclusively tiny titties and politically correct gangsters to be genuine foolishness. And I believe Volition deserves to lose money on so boneheaded, out of touch and lazy a cash grab. Mostly some LOD popping and frame rate hitching, though we did at one point get locked into a menu and have to restart our PC build, and once ended up with an empty weapon wheel. In particular, I suffered a crash that had my save actually reset before I could get much further. The streets of Santo Alezzo were desolate, with only a handful of pedestrians wandering the sidewalks and cars riding the highway. I don't have a company crotch in my face paying me to grab my ankles and edit out the jank of their still buggy after a six month delay cancer. I'm not here to trick consumers. I love the gaming industry, but it's filled with con men and insecure women that out of jealousy put down and exclude people, not because they're evil, cruel, or unlawful, but because they're different. If you were smart, you would monetize the people wanting to represent themselves and the things that we all see topping TikTok and Twitch and Twitter instead of pretending big titties bad unless they help market your game, am I right? Amaranth can't even be represented in game cause somebody's sad lonely ass was triggered. Can you take cover in your game? No. Can you switch over shoulder to shoot? No. Can you replay missions? No. Four player co-op? No. Will the camera align to you while you're driving in a 2022 game or do you have to move the camera yourself? Oh my God. Your older games by more talented developers achieved physics that appeal to everybody. But like a Netflix Bebop or a CW Batwoman or a wannabe Lord of the Rings, you seek only to undo what works while admitting that your failure could not succeed without the audience recognition of the brand that you simply do not understand. Volition, Saints Row used to be compared to Grand Theft Auto. Now, you don't even compare to yourself. I hope Epic's money sliding right up your ass has solidified a future for a game that wouldn't even qualify as mid to kids these days. I, however, am certain that some bizarrely optimistic people will believe that a day one patch will suddenly resolve all of the problems that aren't inherent to the engine or choices that, you know, are as set in stone as bad writing or, you know, just cringe in general. But I... I'm eager, I'm excited, and I hope that if you're on board, you're on this journey with me, that you send me the bugs that you discover as well. I have more, but until I can capture multiple iterations of it, I'm, I'm trying to sprinkle a little bit of that benefit of the doubt on that turd. But um, some of these comments, they break my heart. They really need to work on the shadow distance. The shadows drawing in right in front of you was very distracting in all the driving sequences. Yeah, I thought it looked terrible. One of the shortest draw distances I've seen lately. Looks like a last gen game. God damn. This game looks like a Netflix TV show named Saints Row. I miss the old Saints Row. Hmm. That one, that one's, <laughs> that will hurt me. Someone just said the first two Saints Rose was good. Saints Rose was good. It's, you know, was good for real. They were. Hey, they were. Brand new game. Looks eight years old already. Nice. Feels like a 2013 game. 
Looks like a solid 6.5 out of 10. This dialogue makes me want to slam my head with a car door. Gone are the days of a semi-serious Saints Row. Please make the health bars above my enemies removable. This makes Cyberpunk look like a masterpiece. Definitely not choosing that voice actor for my character. Is there a way to disable dialogue in this game? Easy fix to enjoy this game. Voice sound to zero. Skip every cutscene. As far as the dialogue is concerned, this is an example of how unrealistic it can... Son of a bitch. See, that was real. That was organic. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Thanks for writers. Pussy ass nigga. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. It was a text message, Volition. It's, it's about your awareness. I'm, I'm afraid it's dead. I'm afraid your awareness is dead, Volition. <laughs> oh no, another message. Oh man. You know, it's, oh, dignity now. <laughs> dignity just died. Fuck. What are we going to do? We need to get some child-sized coffins because there wasn't a lot. <laughs> to, whoa, am I laughing at the, no, no, it's fine. Let's get back to the comments that I was reading. When characters talk back and forth or respond to things by simply inserting profanity, cuss words anywhere, it feels like it's misplaced or unnatural. You hear that, you volition bitch? <laughs> Slide up in your bitch, you bitch ass thing. <laughs> I'm imagining how so much better the gameplay would be if there wasn't this constant barrage of quirky one liners. Sarge, we're pinned down! Oh, 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 you know what I mean? I've been doing Pilates, some shit like that. Some unfunny, not even for a parody of like a Bojack tier TV show. Fuck you, man. Volition, you know, what happened to y'all? I'ma stop. I'ma stop. This isn't really like, it's all, it's all comedy. Waka waka, you know what I mean? But, mmm. The real joke, you know who the real joke is, right? <laughs> Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Stop. Y'all really are giving me the laugh of my life. What are you doing to me? I'm calling it. If this age is like milk, I'll eat my words. But this is going to be a game that'll have some hype around it for the first week and quickly die into mediocrity. Volition no longer know their audience or how to make a funny and interesting game anymore. Christ, I'm so tired of the quirky character dialogue. It's agonizing. Man, it's starting to seem like the real only satisfying way to, to make this story go is to give the player the opportunity to put the fucking barrel to the temple of all of these characters you've created and just pull the trigger, baby. I'm going for the high score. It's just a series of ones and zeros, baby. Are you okay, Dia? What do you have to say about Saint Throw, Dia? <laughs> that reminded me of the critic. It stinks. <laughs> Why is it so funny to me? I got, I have, I'll put a picture of that guy up. Some people will be so young. If they like this new bullshit, they won't know who the fuck the critic is. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Why do you know it? Uh, 